Welcome everyone, my name is Chris Record, and welcome to the 90 Day Challenge Day 2. If you are watching live right now, you should be able to see my screen. You are seeing a Google document with 90 Day Challenge notes. This is Day 2. As you can see, just for those of you that are live, before I keep going, since these are live trainings every single day, could you please say things are all good if you can hear the audio and if you can hear the visual. Now, I do have some of my staff on standby right now to be able to make sure things are going well and uh, make sure audio's working well. He's gonna make sure audio's working well, so he'll be monitoring the comments and we are good to go. Okay, with that being said, I wanna jump right into the training because time is money, uh, not only your time, but also my time. So assuming everything is good, um, let's dive into it. Today, what I wanna cover is print on demand for beginners, uh, you know, and then I also wanna do how to, I wanna talk about how to integrate with Shopify. So as long as I get a thumbs up that audio is good from people, uh, I don't want to go too far. I'm just going to assume that it's all good. Okay, print on demand for Shopify, how to integrate. Okay, so with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and start with some basics, okay? Let's start with, let me put up a bullet point list here. Let's start with, first of all, what is print on demand, okay? What on earth is print on demand? So let's start off, let's go to the internet. Let's go to Wikipedia. And let's see what Wikipedia has, and then I'm going to talk a, lot, a little bit more about how we utilize it. But print-on-demand, uh, machines like this, okay, is a technology and business process where companies do not print until they receive an order, okay? This is the main thing you need to know, okay? It allows prints of singular or small quantities, okay? So print-on-demand is essentially where they do not print until they receive an order. So what is print-on-demand? Let's talk about that. Print on demand, otherwise known as POD, is where a company has the ability to print something, but they don't until they receive an order, okay? For example, you might upload an amazing design to a print on demand company to be printed on cell phone cases, um, hats, t-shirts, mugs, etc. They won't actually print and deliver the item until an order comes in. This creates zero inventory of that printed item, thus reducing the risk of inventory and high overhead because what if that product doesn't sell you would be stuck with thousands of mugs for example with your design on them that you would have to pay for with print on demand okay with print on demand you can test many different designs on many different items and only pay, so this is the key, you only pay for it to be printed and shipped after you receive money, okay? That is print on demand. So what is print on demand? We're also gonna call this AKA POD. So if I refer to it as POD, then you know um, exactly what I'm referring to, print on demand. So in the comments, for those of you who are live right now, um, when it comes to print on demand, can you let me know if you are a beginner, intermediate, or advanced? If, this is your, if you've never sold print on demand or if maybe you're just hearing about it for the first time, can you comment with you know beginner? Let's go over here to the 90 Day Challenge group. Let's go to the discussions tab and I'll show you. There's a live stream happening right now. See, um, well that was live, that was yesterday. It's here, we're live now, four minutes ago. Find the day two training. Go to the day two training right now. And you can see, beginner over here, never done it before, somebody's intermediate. So comment below, there's a beginner, beginner, intermediate, beginner. So comment below right now and let me know whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, okay? Let's keep going. So this is print on demand. Can, if you guys can understand this, if you understand this, can you go ahead and say, I understand? If you do not understand what print on demand is, ask other people in the comments and they will help make sense of this. But basically, all that's happening here is you're gonna come up with an idea 
for something that should be printed on a cell phone case or a mug or a hat or a t-shirt and you're gonna submit it to a print-on-demand company and you only have to pay after you receive money. So, that's what print-on-demand is. Let's go ahead and let's look at some example companies. Okay, what is print-on-demand? What are some print-on-demand companies? Okay, actually, I'm gonna start doing POD. It'll just be faster for us all. Okay, what are some, what are some POD companies? Okay, I'm gonna give you some companies right now that, you can, that we're gonna use as examples. Okay, um, an example would be Gearbubble. And we're going to put down the websites too, gearbubble.com. Another one would be viral style, and this would be viralstyle.com. Another one would be Teespring. This would be Teespring. Okay, we're going to go through and we're going to look at a lot, okay? So let's go look at a lot of companies right now. But first, I'm going to show you these ones, then we're going to look at a lot of them, okay? I'm actually going to show you one more, Printful, and I don't remember the, the domain. I think it's printful.co. Um, so let's look at these one at a time. Here is an example of a print-on-demand company. This company is free to use, okay? And they, they make their money because you're selling their, you're selling their mugs and their, their jewelry and stuff like that, right? So they make money, don't get me wrong. They're free to use, but they make money. Okay, here, uh, first things first, you start selling your own products today at Gearbubble, Anyone can easily create and sell merchandise with zero upfront costs, whether it's a shirt or necklace, we make it easy for you to sell online. So look at zero upfront costs. That's why we like this for beginners, okay? Zero upfront costs. Create and sell merchandise. I mean, think about that. That's what makes this so great as a beginner strategy. Okay, so you can go and create accounts. Now, and look, somebody sold over 10,000 of these. Over 10,000 of this was sold. So let's look at these categories here. All of these, they, they, people are selling print-on-demand products have to do with animals, professions, faith, family, holidays, veterans, yoga, and other. Here's some top sellers, some new releases. So let's just go to the top sellers category so we can take a look at what is selling well. Look at this, 13,000 sold of this, 11,000 sold of this, 11,000 sold. I mean, look at that. That's really high, right? So let's, look, let's take a look at an example here of a print-on-demand product that could be you. Okay. It is a black mug, and look what this text says. Roll your mouse over the mug to watch it change colors. Okay, so it starts as a black mug. When you fill it up with liquid, the, 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 the cold to hot changes the color. So watch this, okay? Look at that. You roll your mouse up, and look what happens when it gets hot. It changes colors into a white mug, and it says, To my wife, I loved you then, I love you still, always have, always will. So this is an example of a husband, you would target married men that, um, and you might even target extra keywords that, you know, like to, um, you know, drink coffee or something like that. Or you could even hyper target people who have an anniversary, married men who have an anniversary coming up, you know, stuff like that. Because they're, they're thinking about it, right? And so this person is selling this mug for $19.95. That's, this is a retail page, 1995. This is their title, I love you. Um, this is a little keyword just released, limited time only. This item is not available in stores. They do this because you, when they come to this page, you don't want them to think that they can just go get it in a store. Guaranteed safe checkout. So like all this stuff is just, just released is for exciting and hype. Limited time means that there's, um, there's urgency, scarcity. Item is not available in stores. So there's urgency, there's scarcity, there's excitement, there's security, guaranteed safe checkout, security. There's a call to action, buy it now. Um, right here is a feel good. It's printed and shipped from the USA, okay? And then they can click buy it now. And it's got a countdown timer, which, which really um, adds to the urgency. And it shows that a, this is social proof. A lot of other people are purchasing this item. So they would click buy it now. It adds it right here, a color-changing mug. They can check out with a credit card or PayPal. They check out with a card, and then you go here, and you can purchase this product, okay? It's going to have $5 shipping and handling, so it's $25, okay? So there you go, $25 just like that. So that's an example of a mug. Now, how does it work? When you go to Gearbubble, you can create an account. You're going to go to Get Started Now, and you can go and you can fill out an account or whatever, create your account and you can go and, and, and create an account. Then you'll create an account and you can go log in. Um, and you can go log in. I have some demo account I just set up. And look, they work with Shopify. They have a dropship program that works with Shopify, all kinds of stuff. So 
once you have a dashboard, you can go and you can launch campaigns. Okay, you log in, you're going to create an account, you can go launch a campaign, and there's different types of campaigns. You could create a whole store in here. Let's just launch a campaign, a traditional campaign. These, so here's all it is in three steps. One, you select your product, which product you want to you want to you want to sell. Two, you create a design and you upload it on the product. And then three, you add a description, like a title and a description. So let's let's say we want to do a coffee mug. Okay, they have all of these different products. Look at this. They could do a coffee mug. You could do a necklace, um, a bracelet. And notice the necklace and the bracelet have like a little circle on them. That means that you can design what's on the little circle. A shirt or a hoodie, a phone case, a hat, a beanie, a pillowcase, some leggings, um, print all over the shirt or a poster. You could even do your own posters. So let's say you choose a coffee mug. You're going to click next step. And, and then you've got to like come up with a design. Okay. So you've got to figure out like a design of, for what you want to do. And there's just these different types of mugs. Here's a color changing mug. Um, you know, and your your base cost is nineteen ninety five, and you're going to make ten dollars profit per sale. So, what how this works is if you wanted to sell that, let's let's go up and let's look at that um, mug again. Okay, um, let's see if I can find it again. It's going to log me in. Let's go to uh, campaigns new. Hold on, let me let me open up an um, incognito window that I'm not logged in. Um, dun dun dun. All right, and let's go to categories, best sellers, top sellers. All right, you guys might not be able to see my screen right now. I just realized because I'm in an incognito window, so I'm going to close this and I'm going to open it up here. Okay. Here's this um, wife. You guys will be able, this should work now. I realized that when I went incognito, maybe you guys couldn't see that. So here's this mug, this I love you mug. Okay, now you should be able to see it. There's an I love you mug, and it's got that color changing thing. I loved you then, I love you still, always have, always will. Okay, so what they did was they're selling this for $19.95. And if you look at yours, if you did that same mug, then you're earning $10 profit. Okay, so you see, you have a base cost. Like, what if you want to sell this mug for $12.95, okay? You're only making $3 profit. Let's say you want to sell this, this for $10.95. You're only making $1 profit. Let's say you want to sell this mug for $9.95. You're making no profit. So your base cost of this product is $9.95, which means that Gearbubble, the first $9.95 is going to go to Gearbubble because they're the ones that are providing the mug, they're the ones that are um, putting the image on it, all that kind of stuff. So the first $9.95 goes to Gearbubble. Anything above $9.95 that you sell it for is your profit. So they suggest $19.95 for mugs. You make $10 profit. So let's look at this. This is $19.95, and they've sold 13,759 of them. Okay. So if you guys do the math, right, um, 13,759 times... $10, which is the profit on each one, is $137,000 in profit. So this one item for this one seller is roughly $137,000 in profit to come up with this one mug. So I don't know how many opportunities you guys know in the world where you have the ability to generate $137,000 in profit. Now, that's profit. Let's look at 1995 times 13,000. So if you do the math on that, take the same math, 13,759 times 19.95, that is 274,000. So let's ramp that up, $275,000, okay? $275,000, but remember when we clicked buy it now and we went to go check out with the card? Um, it actually adds 495 to it. So really the total, if this was your product in your store, you're actually collecting $24.90, $24.90. So let's do that again. Watch how much money your store would have actually generated off this one mug. 24.90 times 13,759, 13,759 equals 342,000. Okay, 342,599, ready? 342,599, 342,000. So let's write this down, okay? Let's go... Let's go um, 
I'm going to do this all, all on the sheet for you, okay? Example mug, um, and this is going to be uh, I love my wife mug, 19, uh, so we're going to do cost, 19.99, shipping, I think it was 4.95, we could look at it again, 4.95, um, base cost was 9.95 or 9.99, I can't remember, what was it, 9, yeah, 9.95 was the base cost, okay, so example mug, I love my wife, let's, have, let's even put a, let's even put a link into this, so 342, 5.99, um, total units sold, total income generated, was three hundred forty-two thousand five hundred ninety-nine. The total income sold right here was one three seven five nine, thirteen thousand seven hundred and fifty-nine uh, units. Now, of course, this person's it, it, it probably advanced, right? Total units sold thirteen thousand seven hundred fifty-nine. Total income generated. Uh, total profits before ads. Okay, before Facebook ads on something like this, because remember, there, there's always a cost. You don't just sell thirteen. These 13,000 didn't just sell randomly. So their profit is um, $10. Remember, if we're going off this estimate here, if they're selling it for $19.95, their profit is $10 per sale. So we're just gonna use that as our estimate. $10 per sale is basically, um, it's gonna be total profit is gonna be 137,590. And then um, we don't know their cost per ads. Everybody's ads are different. But let's say, let's say cost, Per FB ad to acquire customer. We're going to have to make a guess here. Since we don't know who this person is, we don't know who they are, let's guess that their cost per ad to acquire the customer, it's, they're making $10 profit, so you know they have to be profitable. They didn't sell this many unless they were profitable. So you know that they're, 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 they're making $10, so to sell an item for $20, bucks, let us just assume $5 per customer. Let's make it uh, $5, and let's just say that's an assumption. Cost per Facebook ad to acquire a customer is $5. So that means total profit per sale after FB ads equals, um, and let's say that that is now, um, you know, their total profit was $10. And now their total, so let's do it real quick. Total profit before FB ads per sale equals $10. Okay, I'm going to organize this a little bit better for you so you guys understand in the notes. Okay, so their total, total profits that they make per sale is $10. So their total profits was 13,759 orders times $10. That's a total profit of $137,000. That's awesome. But their cost per Facebook ad would be $5. That's an assumption. Cost per F Facebook ads on the, the total campaign equals five dollars times one hundred and thirty seven thousand so let's let's do that math real quick you guys got to learn to love numbers by the way one thirty seven um, one three seven five nine times five dollars equals sixty eight thousand seven hundred ninety five sixty eight thousand in ad spend total profits per sale after Facebook ads so you look at this. What is your total profits after? So if, if you you generated three hundred and forty two thousand dollars from this product, but Gearbubble takes their cut. You, have, you got a cost per mug. You got a cost for shipping stuff like that. So really, you made one hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars. But then Facebook is going to take their cut. Let's say five dollars per item sold. So Facebook's going to take sixty eight thousand dollars of that. So you're left. Your actual pure profit in your pocket is one thirty seven. 1590 minus 68,795. So let's do that math really quick. Um, 137,590 minus 68,795 equals 68. Well, it's the same because that was $10 profit. So sorry for that. I have to do the math. So that actually means 68,795 is your pure profit. Okay? And that's the most important thing. Look at that right there. Bam. So on this campaign, this person 
on our best estimate, this I love my wife campaign, my, our best estimate, we have to guess their ad spend, but our best estimate is that they made $68,795 on that one product in pure profit. But their store gets to, gets to boast $342,000. So if you ever, so first of all, if you guys are a beginner, if you ever hear somebody saying, oh, my store did a million dollars or 500,000, that doesn't mean that's all profit. We, we get down to the nitty gritty. We find out what the actual profit is. So $68,000 is your profit right back in your pocket. That's after Facebook gets their cut, Gearbubble gets their cut, everybody gets their cut, $68,795. Now you might have, you might have some more expenses we, we, and we can only make assumptions. Maybe for all we know, this guy's campaign went viral and his cost, maybe his cost is $3 or maybe his cost is $7, right? Or, um, and maybe a girl, sorry for saying it was a guy. I was just was looking at the I love my wife thing, so I just assumed a guy. But whoever the seller is, male or female, they, they potentially generated $68,000. So this is a business model. Regardless if you're brand new, if you were to hang with us for 90 days, if it took you 90 days to figure this out, how many people here would love to crack the code and learn how to design a mug and scale it to the point where you sold you know, 13,000 units of a single mug, right? How many people right now think this is flat out exciting? Let me know in the comments how many people are, are flat out, they just, they are impressed with the ability to be able to do this. And, and what was your cost? You didn't, you never even touched a mug. You never even handled one. You never even dealt with one, right? So because you're not even touching any products, all you had to do was this. You just had to upload this design and then come up with a title and a description, okay? And that's it, and then drive traffic to this page or drive traffic to your Shopify store. That's all you have to do. That's your role. So this is the power of print on demand, you guys, is that you have the ability to be able to do stuff like this. So Gearbubble allows you to do this right here, and then all you need to do is you need to um, come up with design. So let's, let's do that really quick, okay? Um, let me come up. I think I have a folder somewhere that's got some designs in it that we can use. Graphic designs. Let's go in with some t-shirt designs. Um, okay, here's some old graphic designs. Back, back in 2014, there's a whole folder I have, so I don't mind sharing these ones. But let's go here to Country Girls. Let's say, um, let's do Country Girls. Let's do this one. Let's see what this one is. Okay. Okay, country girls, play like a boy. Um, let me see if I can get this a little bit bigger for you guys. Country girls, play like a boy, love like an angel, and know their way around a shotgun. So here's an example of a um, here's an example of a design. You can go and you can basically find like designers for like five dollars that'll do designs like this for five or ten bucks. Just basic text. Country girls play like a boy, love like an angel, and know the way around a shotgun. So this would be tailored. This would sell to um, a woman who is interested in country music or country-related brands or things like that who also has an interest in shotguns or guns or um, Second Amendment or something like that. So essentially like a Midwest girl, if you will, right? So... You go, you do something like this. Let's go ahead and let's uh, let's download this graphic. Let's go ahead and download this to um, my desktop, Country Girls. Let's save it. So now let's go back over here to Gearbubble, and you can upload a design. Okay, upload a graphic. I don't know if it's the right format, by the way. We're gonna see. Um, I did not format this, so it might not let this one go. We'll see. It might not be the right size for a mug. If it's not the right size, we'll go to a T-shirt instead. Um, Okay, so it looks like it is kind of the right size here, but it looks like this would only really work on a, um, this is not good for a white background, so I don't think I'm going to use it. Let's, let's go back. Let's go, um, let's not put this on a color changing mug. Let's put this on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Let's go design a t-shirt or a hoodie just because I have this graphic. And look at all these different t-shirts you could do. Women's tees, youth hoodies, long sleeves, sweatshirts. So let's do like a sweatshirt. Let's do a black sweatshirt like that. And then let's upload the design, Country Girls. And it's gonna upload it. And this is how easy it is. You just upload a transparent design. There it is. 
country girls, okay? And you can literally like, um, you can go make it bigger if you want to. You can do a lot with it, okay? You can go and you can, you can reverse it. You can just do all kinds of stuff. So basically, I'm just kind of showing you the exact, um, there's all kinds of like little options that you can do. You can snap it to the center to make sure this thing stays in the center. Um, you can rotate it a little bit. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do, okay? So you can put it up higher. You know, you can make it bigger. Okay, cool stuff you can do. So you basically upload a, a design, put it on a sweatshirt, choose what colors, and you can add another color. So maybe I want to have one that's black, and you can kind of scroll over and see what, it doesn't look good on white, doesn't really look good on red, looks a little bit good on blue, purple. So maybe like that color looks good add another color blue. So you could have like a black one, a purple one, a blue one. Now your base cost is $15.90 per sale. Um, oh, sorry, your profit is $15.90 per sale. So if I sell this for $29.95, I'm going to make $15 per sale. But if I sell it for $24.95, I'm going to make $10. If I sell this for $19.95, I'm going to make $5.90. So the logic here is when I'm first starting, I'm going to sell this for like $19.95. And then after I sell a few, I'm gonna bump it up to like $24.95 and then see if I can sell more. And then after a while, I'm gonna bump it up to $29. I'm gonna just keep raising the price to see what I can get away with. But I'm gonna start small to see if I can actually um, if I can actually do that. Now, personalized design layer, this allows you to be able to do stuff like that. Don't worry about any of that. Right now, you're just basically doing this and you're just uploading an image. You can I can move it around and make it bigger if I wanted. And then it gives you like a default um, text, just released, limited time only, uh, not available in stores, guaranteed safe checkout. See how it gives you this default stuff so you don't even have to add it if you want. Campaign title, um, I'll say uh, country girls, um, country girls uh, exclusive or something like that. That's the name of the shirt, country girls exclusive. You can do an optional category if you want, but you don't even really need to. Uh, optional tags you don't need to now this this is how long it's gonna run because this is gonna put a countdown timer so you can basically say this is this is only available for one day or this is only available for two days three days six days so this will put a six day countdown timer it's only available for six days and then it's off the market choose a URL we'll do like country um, country girl sorry country country I'm spelling wrong country girl shotgun okay Country Girl Shotgun, something like that, right? And that's how you come up with a URL. And then you're, you set the selling price. We've got it set at $24.95. It's a sweatshirt though, so I might be able to sell it at like $29.95. And then this is like a profit preview. So this kind of shows you like your different profit margin. Your estimated profit is if you sell five of this, this hoodie, your estimated profit is $79.50. If you sell 250, of the hoodie, your estimated profit is 4,600 on this. If you can sell 1,000, your estimated profit is 19,530, right? So it gives you like a profit preview that you can kind of figure it out. Now, you see how this has four colors? If we would have just uploaded a one color design, we would make more profit. And if you uploaded like more than six colors, it makes a lot of profit. So if you have a very colorful design, you make less profit because the print on demand company has to show a lot of different colors. Uh, it takes them more, more harder to print multiple colors. So the less colors you have, the more profit you're gonna make. This is four colors. There's my estimated profit, just like that. Um, so you're gonna make, you know, it kinda like, you can kinda see like estimates, pretty cool. Okay, so that's your profit preview. Your button text could be buy it now, all this kind of stuff. Terms of service, and you can launch the campaign, right? So it's processing, launching, and just like that, pretty simple, right? I've got um, the ability to be able to sell this now. Country Girls exclusive. So now in my account, if I want to, here's a URL. I can start advertising this right now. This is print on demand. I can start advertising it right now. We haven't even hooked it up to Shopify. If I just want to test this, I get to start selling it right now. Okay? So you see how, see how simple this was? I'm just showing you. Now look, available till April 8th. It's got a six day or five, five day and six hour countdown. It's got a countdown timer. It's got colors that the person can look at and can choose. It's got a sizing chart automatically built in. This is all built in for you. And this is very, very simple. Right now, somebody can buy it. And when somebody buys it, I earn like $15. So right now, without anything, low risk, all I did was I uploaded a, a design and I have a sales page and I can literally make like $15 right now if somebody buys this. 
So what I'll do is I'll take this 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 post or whatever, and I would go over to you know Facebook, and I would go like you know we'll teach this in another one of the 90 days, but I just want to show you how simple it is. Let's just call this one like I'll create a fan page. Don't worry, I'm gonna go fast here. Uh, country girls. Um, let's do. Let's just. I'm gonna make up a page. Country girls anthem. Get started. Oh, whoops, I didn't choose a category. Let's just call it like a website. Country Girls Anthem. That doesn't even really matter what you, what you call that. It's not like this even matters. There's my Country Girls Anthem. Here's my new page. Let's add a picture. Let's go over here and let's add Country Girls Wallpaper. Let's see if there's a let's see if there's an image I can really quickly use. Like some sort of Country Girl uh, image. Something that like looks really cool or whatever. Um, I don't know, something like this for right now. There's some wallpaper. Here's a nice like little country girl wallpaper, whatever. I'll take like a little screen capture of, of, of a little bit of it. Let's just do like that. This might not even work really quick, but who cares? Um, country girl profile picture. So I, I wouldn't actually use this one probably, but I'm just gonna go fast. So what I would do is I go to Facebook and I would just go in here and I would just go make a, add a picture, a country girl picture. And now I got a, I've got a page called, I've got a page called the country girl, um, country girl anthem, country girls anthem. I don't even know why I chose anthem. I think I saw it in the background. It was just was in my mind. So country girls anthem, I just made up a page. It was free to create. And there's my little country girl profile picture. And I got my new page. That's it. All you need is a page. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make a post. My post is going to be this country girl shirt. Okay. So like what I'll do is I'll just go like this. Here's, here's my post. There's my link or whatever. And it didn't show up. So I'm going to refresh the page. Reload. I'm going to show you. It's going to show, it's going to pull up. There's a little trick too. If, some, if, it, if you post your link and it doesn't pull up, you need to refresh. So there it goes. Now it's pulling up a picture. There's a picture of my shirt. Country Girls exclusive. It's got a shirt. It's got everything. Just by posting the link, I got a post. But I'm going to do something better than that. I'm going to say, you know what? That's kind of that's kind of silly. What if I do this instead? What if I just grab this shirt right here, take a screenshot of it, just like this? What if I just took a screenshot? Just like that. A picture. Um, let's go uh, Country Girls I'm showing you guys literally how as beginners, how simple this is. Country Girls Advertisement. I created a shirt. I uploaded a logo, created a shirt, set up a page. Let's go back here. I just took a screenshot of that. Let's refresh this. I just took a screenshot of the shirt. That's how simple it was. And after taking a screenshot of the shirt, watch this. Photo, video, upload. And just like that, I uploaded a picture. Now watch how simple this is. Um, Check out, uh, say, are you a, uh, tag a friend that is a country girl um, who can relate to this shirt, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'll say tag a friend who can, who's a country girl that can relate to this shirt, um, and then I'll say something like, get it here, and then we'll put like the little link to it, you know, get it here, um, we'll copy this link right here, Boom. And then I'll do, I'll maybe do that again. Get it here. I'll get it. And I'll say, get it here twice. Get it here. Get it here. So look, tag a friend that is a country girl who can relate to this shirt. Get it here. Get it her. Get it here. Or um, get it in, I might do this, like get it in blue, get it in, get it in black. But I'll just say, get it here. Get it here. Okay. Um, and now this right here is a post. Watch this. Publish. Again, this is all free. Everything I've done right now is free. Watch what I've done. I've created a shirt for free. I mean, you have to have a graphic, but that's like five bucks or 10 bucks, something like that. But I've created, a, I've created a whole entire page. I've gone on Facebook and I've created a post, which is just the picture of it, $29.95. And I said, tag a friend, get it here, get it here. So now I have a post. Now I would probably put it on my, um, what I would do is I'd probably build a Shopify site that was all about country related stuff. And then this would be just one product on my Shopify store. That's probably what I would do. But I'm just, just for the example of what is print on demand and how does it work, this is how it works. I've got this post now, and now I can advertise it. Country Girls Anthem. Now I can advertise this post. So now what I'll do is I'll go in here, 
to create an ad, and I'll go over here and I'll do any one of these ads. I can do a conversion ad, whatever. We'll do this on another another time, uh, like maybe when we, in maybe like day five or ten, we'll do we'll go, go all about Facebook ads. But this is how simple it's going to be for you. Literally, I'm going to say country girls shotgun shirt. Literally, you're going to be able to go into Facebook, and you're going to be able to choose. Watch how, watch how cool this is going to be. Women in the United States, women, you're going to be able to go in and say, who should this post show to? Women, and don't worry, I'll train on this in depth. In this 90-day challenge, you're going to learn all this. Women in the United States who have an interest in, let's say, country music, okay? That is 29 million women. 29 million women in the United States have an interest in country music. So let's narrow this down. Must also have an interest in... What happens if I do shotgun? Look at 830,000 people. Look at how cool this is. Right now, Facebook is going to allow me to show this post to women in the United States. Let's even make it 21 and over. Women in the United States who are 21 and over who like country music and shotguns. 730,000 people. Just like that. Look at how cool that is. And then you can go over here and you can say, where do you want this ad to show? And look at all these places it can show. You can show it on Instagram. Or if you don't want to show it, you just uncheck that. You can show it on Facebook in the news feeds and these articles and these streams. What if I just want this thing to show up on Facebook in the news feed? When people are scrolling through the Facebook news feed, boom, there it is. I just check that box. And it's going to show up on the news feed. Now, how much am I going to spend? Watch this. $5 a day. Okay, five dollars a day. Continue. Okay, five dollars a day, and then I got to choose a page, and let's just choose this uh, country girls anthem page, and there's my post, and just like that, that's it. And then if you have a, if it, we'll get into this later, pixel tracking that makes Facebook smarter. We'll get into all that stuff later. But look at how simple this was. This post I just made for five dollars a day, Facebook will show this to women who like country music and shotguns, just like that. And you can just place the order, okay? How simple was this, you guys? Just in a matter of seconds, now, in a matter of what, 20 minutes? What did we do? We found a print-on-demand site, we uploaded a graphic, put it on a sweatshirt, uh, took a picture of it, went over here, made a post, showed people where they can buy it, and then went into Facebook, and we just advertised that post right now for $5 a day to win to the exact target audience, okay? Look, look at what we just did right here. Just watch what we just did. Um, example for this training video, okay? Example for this training video. Look, look at these steps that we did, okay? Watch this. We created a graphic, and this was the uh, uh, girls, country girls, plus shotgun um, graphic, okay? We created a graphic. We uploaded that graphic to Gearbubble, we chose to put it on a hoodie. We priced the hoodie at, how much did we price it at, you guys? How much was that? $29.95. We priced the hoodie at $29.95 uh, plus, I think it's got $4.95 shipping, W some shipping, plus shipping. So we priced it at $29.95. We took a screenshot of the finished hoodie with graphic on it. We uploaded that as an image to a, or no, we created a Facebook page. We created a Facebook page in the country girls niche. We uploaded that image to the fan page with links to buy it. We ran a $5 a day ad to women 21 plus USA who like country music and shotguns. Then we sit back and see if any sales come in over the next three days, okay? That's it. Remember, our profit is $15, okay? If our profit, actually, I think our profit is more. Let's go back and let's look at what our, let's look at what our profit is on this, right? Let's see if we can go back a couple pages. And we'll actually see what our prop, what our potential profit was. 
So our potential at 29 to five, our profit is $10 per sale, okay? So if our profit is $10.90 per sale, let's say the next two days, okay? Um, let's say two to four days. So um, our profit is $10 per sale, roughly. So we can spend up to $10 to acquire a customer and break even. Our goal is to acquire customers for $5 or less. We keep experimenting until we find an advertising audience that works. If we can't find one, then we create a new product and new audience and try again. You guys, this is the name of the game. That's how simple it is right there in a number of steps, okay? Um, let's go down here and put this all on one screen so you can see it. Look at, look at this right here, okay? And then we'll do step number 15. When we find a winner, we scale it up by spending more, by creating more ads. Creating more ads to run per day, okay? That's what we do. So there's 15 steps right there. We'll, look what we did. We created a graphic. We uploaded it to Gearbubble. We put it on a product. We priced the product. We took a screenshot of it and uploaded that to Facebook, to a fan page we created. We ran a $5 a day ad trying to see if it would sell. And we're going to check the results in a couple days. Our profit is you know, roughly $10, so we know how much we could spend to break even. But of course, our goal is to profit, to make profit. Um, and we're just going to keep experimenting. If we can't find one, we try a new design, we try over. Okay, once we find a winner, we scale up. Now, that's not, that's just, that's just with this product here. Okay, so literally, like, that's just, we can go over here and we can sell this thing on Shopify too. You know, we can increase ROI on our Shopify store with one-click integration. So we can actually put these products on our Shopify store. There's a video right here um, that you can learn about. Let me, let me go ahead and put this video in the, let me put the video in the, uh, the notes. Um, uh, here is a video showing how to integrate gear bubble with Shopify. Okay. So that just like that, and don't worry, you'll get access to these notes. So just like that, we just showed this one gear bubble. we looked at an example and then we went and created one. You guys, this is like, for some of you, this might seem basic for some of you, this might seem advanced, but either way, this is a real industry. People are making money left and right doing this, okay? This is real money, okay? Whether, you might not do $68,000, okay? But you might do $1,000 a week and that would still be amazing. That's $4,000 a month in pure profit. Some of you could do this as a full-time career if you can figure this out. So it's at least worth doing. And then what you wanna do is you wanna to integrate to your Shopify store. That way all of the sales count towards your Shopify challenge. So there's a way to do that. Now, we just looked at Gearbubble. Let's go look at some other ones, okay? We just looked at Gearbubble. Let's go over here to Viral Style. Here's another print-on-demand company called Viral Style. And they're all, you know, they're, they're all just different. And like another cool idea is that you can get a lot of ideas for stuff by just going and looking at all these things and seeing what's selling. Okay, so here's Viral Style. And you can create, you can sell, you can track. So it's basically the same kind of thing right here. You design, um, you just look at all these products they have here. Short sleeve shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, ladies, tank tops, um, v-necks, drinks, kids stuff, all over print, all over the whole shirt, phone cases, hats, jewelry, footwear, clocks, laptop sleeves. So you literally can go and you can like design on a clock. You see that? I mean, how cool is this? A round wall clock. You can go and you could design on a, on a clock if you wanted to. So you can go in here and you can like basically just go design on a clock. You have a base price of $14.95 and you can mark it up to $29.95, and that's it. You know, you can basically um, upload an image. You might want to find something better than, this, than, than the country girl's image or whatever, but um, you basically go, and, and maybe I'll upload a different thing just to show you. I think I have a picture of a standard poodle from yesterday's training, so we might use that one. We'll see what happens when this one loads in, um, but that's it. You just basically load it in. I don't think it'll go, go good, though, because it's white on white, so um, yeah, see, it doesn't really look as good. Um, but you know, it won't really look that great. Um, yeah, let's, let's go, let's clear it and let's see if we can upload that poodle and we'll see if that works. So anyways, you would have an image or whatever for whatever your base audience was. 
Oh, that image has to be higher. Okay, uh, maybe we could find one. Let me go back. These are all t-shirt designs. Maybe we can find one. Let's see if there's one here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, who knows? I don't know if this is going to work. All my images, I think, in this folder are designed for, white back, uh, for black backgrounds. So I don't know if I'm going to have anything here. Okay. I don't want to look too much, but you guys get, you guys get the point. Maybe we'll just do something like, let's say, um, high resolution poodle. Let's just do a high resolution poodle image really quick. Just see if we can get something that would look good. Um, on a circle. I'm just going to grab this one as an example and see. I'm going to grab one of these as an example. Save image. Poodle. Let's just see if that one works. So anyways, you guys get the idea though. You're just going to basically find an image. We're going to try this poodle and see if it works really quick. If not, don't worry. It has to be a certain size. Yeah, images must be over 2,000 pixels. Let's try one more really quick. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Let's see if we can find one that's big, over 2,000. Da, da, da. Give me one second. There's a settings. Um, size. Larger than. 2000. So let's try one of these real quick. Um, so if somebody had like a dog or whatever and you got a cute picture of the dog, it could work, you know? So like, we'll see if we can get one of these images to work. This one's like a really high, high image. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's go back. And that's kind of fun. Now you, you would design one though. You would go to a designer and have them do one. You would say this, the image needs to be over 2000 um, pixels to be able to be used. Let's try this one real quick. Just, we're going to try it. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to move on really quick because I don't want to do this. I've never used a clock before, by the way. This will be the first time. So if it doesn't work, then we're just, if this says no, then we're just done. So anyways, the idea is you find an image that could go on a clock. You have a base cost of $14.95. That's based on 50 sales. So you have to make at least 50 sales. Okay, here we go. Let's make this. Okay, let's make it a little bigger. That's not a transparent image, so it's it like that. Let's make it like that if we can. I'm gonna design it a little bit better. Get it nice and neat in there, like that. Okay, there we go. So we just designed a clock, just like that. Look at that. I've got a clock. I've got a wall clock. Now, if you were able to target that breed of dog, dog owners and that breed of dog, that's all you would have to do. Okay, and you can go over here and you can even pre you can click the preview, you can go to next, and you can start designing this thing, okay? So that's all. You can basically design clocks, you can design all kinds of stuff. There's your, there's your preview, your campaign title goes there, you can choose what colors you want it, you can choose all stuff, and it's going to look like that, okay? Very, very cool. So that's all you do. You go next, and then you start choosing, um, you know, you have a profit estimator, it'll show you how much profit you're looking to get. It gives you a selling price, it recommends $24.95 as a selling price, but you can sell it for $29.95. And, you know, you're, you're generating $15 per, per, your minimum profit per item is $15, but the more items you sell, the higher profit. So your minimum profit is $15, okay? But you can generate even more. So let's say you're able to sell 500 of these clocks, your estimated profit, $7,500, your minimum overall profit. Now, you can go and you can put this design on more products. So there you go, just putting a dog, a simple thing, a white, a white clock with a dog on it, you target the breed of the dog. Now you're going to want to use a picture though that you have better. And also that's the thing is that you can get like a, you can get a designer to put together a picture, you know, of whatever and you can target people. But the thing is, is that how many breeds of dogs are there? There's like 20 breeds of dogs, right? So you can go in here and you could easily find them. So watch this, like let's go breeds of dogs. And this very, very beginner just kind of showing you, look at all these breeds of dogs here. Siberian Husky, Pug, Labrador Retriever, Beagle. So you can go and you can get a designer to tell a designer, I want a circle image over 2,000 pixels of each one of these breeds of dogs. And you go to a designer, give me an amazing picture of each one, and I'll pay you, you know, $5 per design or whatever, okay? And then what you do is you go in here like Doberman Pinscher. Once you go in and start placing Facebook ads, what, the, the cool thing is you can basically, um, let's go back, let's go create an ad. Once you get, once we start, once you get good at Facebook ads, Look at how cool this will be. You can go in here and you can create an ad. We're going to do the same thing. Quick little engagement ad. And we're going to do, uh, this ad is going to be 
Doberman clock. So you can do the same thing we just did with the other with the mug. And you go on here to Doberman clock. You could target all men and women in the United States and watch what happens. Doberman. Doberman Pincher. Doberman Pincher Club of America. Look at that. People that are members of the Doberman Pincher Club of America, do you think they're pretty loyal to Dobermans? You see what I'm saying? Like, look at all these audiences here. You know, there's just all kinds of cool audiences that have to do with Dobermans and related dogs and whatnot. So, look at this. 2,300,000 people are interested in just those two things in the United States. Okay? So, you do the same exact thing. You place an ad targeting people. You can target men and women in the United States who are interested in Doberman Pinchers. Two million of them. And you can run an ad to that audience for $5 a day. Or... You can take out Doberman Pinchers, just run it to this super loyal group, Doberman Pincher Club of America, 58,000 people, run it right there to that group and you'll be advertising this product right here. But let's say there was a Doberman Pincher on it, okay? So then you do the same thing, you go over here and let's do um, Chihuahua. You get a beautiful picture of a Chihuahua your designer makes or whatever and then you go and you put a Chihuahua clock together and then you go over here and say, I'm going to place another ad instead of Doberman Pinchers, we're going to do Chihuahuas. How do you spell Chihuahua? There we go. Chihuahua. Let's see. I love my Chihuahua. That's probably the right way to spell it. More like that. Okay. Chihuahuas. Chihuahua the dog. Okay. So just that one audience right there. Chihuahua the dog. That's 9.6 million people in the United States that have an interest in Chihuahuas. But look at all these different things you can like narrow it down by. I love my Chihuahua. Chihuahua right there. And you can just keep typing in like Chihuahua Rescue of San Diego. Um, Chihuahuas are awesome. You can like really kind of like really get in there. Chihuahua puppies. You can get in there more, more loyal audiences. Okay. So it's just like all kinds of things you could do. And you can kind of like, if that audience is too big, 9.6 million people, you can narrow it down. Okay. People interested in Chihuahuas and people that are interested. So let's see. Ch C-H-H. -H, I don't even know how to spell Chihuahua. Sorry. Chihuahua. People are interested in... You know, other things too. We can say people that are interested in chihuahuas are awesome. People are interested in I love my chihuahua club. And you can like start to narrow it down. Okay, so we'll do like people that are interested in chihuahua dogs and people are also interested in all these other chihuahua things. I love my chihuahua, chihuahua puppies, chihuahua puppy, famous chihuahuas. And you can just start, look, two million, you narrow it down to two million people. And that's what you do. You basically advertise a chihuahua clock to people. That, that love this, and they're going to basically see an ad that's going to promote this clock. So that's print on demand. It doesn't, you have a product that is going to, that you don't ever have to have any clocks in your own house. You can make one for every single breed of dog. You can make one for every single niche. You can make one for everything, you guys. This is it. And then you just, you just keep trying to see, you follow the same kind of strategy right here. Okay? Follow the same strategy. You basically create a graphic, like the Chihuahua graphic. You upload the graphic to viral style, you put it on a clock, you price the clock, you take a screenshot of the clock, you create a Facebook page for chihuahuas, you upload that as an image with links to buy it, you run a $5 a day ad to people in the United States who like chihuahuas, and then you sit back and see if any sales come in. And then listen, over time you're going to get better. This is very general. Over time you're going to learn how to be able to place. Inside of Techademics and the paid members areas, there's all kinds of training on how to become a Facebook advertising pro. So if you, you can always become a paid member of Techademics, um, like joining the Entrepreneur Club, joining some of the courses, and you can learn more about Facebook advertising. But that's the goal. The goal is to understand print on demand on a high level. What is it? How do you use it? What does it do? Okay? So we showed you Gear Bubble. We showed you, uh, so this is Gear Bubble. We showed you Viral Style. We showed you, like, there's just so many things you could do. Let's take a look at another one. Another one right here is a company called Teespring. Teespring is going to be t-shirts, you know, and, and what I encourage you to do is go look at all the other t-shirts people are doing, okay? That's what I encourage you to do. Look, family, people are making, let's just do grandparents. People are making t-shirts targeting grandparents. Look at this. Yeah, let me zoom in, okay? It's a grandma thing, you know? Papa, the man, the myth, the legend. I do what I do because grandkids don't spoil themselves. You know, you give this to a grandparent who likes to spoil people. Um, I love my grandkids to the moon and back. So you're targeting grandparents on, on Facebook. And the thing is, is that Facebook, when you learn how to place ads, inside of Techademics, you're going to learn how to place ads if you don't know how already. But, you know, you can go in here and you could like target 
grandparents. You know, look at this. Here's a demographic. Household composition, grandparents. So, um, and then you know, like, in order, you can, you can change the age. So you know, like, let's say somebody, um, somebody who's a grandparent, let's target people who are like 60 years old and older, okay? Um, or 50 years old and older. So they're probably not going to be grandparents until at least 50, okay? 50 years old and older, grandparents. There's 8.6 million people. Facebook tells you who grandparents are. Look at this. Household composition, okay? Look at this right here. Facebook will tell you, look at all the stuff you can find out. Grandparents, people who are new parents, you could target brand new parents. You could target veterans that are, that are in home, working women, young adults. Look at all the stuff. Facebook gives you, you can make shirts for all this stuff. An anniversary within 31 to 60 days. So look at this graphic right here. Anniversary within 31 to 60 days, okay? Why is that valuable? Well, remember that, uh, remember that, that product we looked at um, in Gearbubble? You guys remember? Let's see. Let's go, see if we can go find it again. The product that we looked at was this one. Okay, these these people right here that did this "I love you" one targeted um, men who love their wives, and they they show this. What they probably did is they probably went to Facebook and targeted men who have an anniversary. So watch what I'm going to do here. Instead of grandparents, anniversary in the next 31 to 60 days, men, and then let's do ages let's say 30 and above. Men who have an anniversary in the next 31 days. Look, there's 800,000, 810,000 men have an anniversary in the next 31 to 60 days, according to Facebook. How does Facebook know that? Because we all, we all participate in social networking. We tell Facebook, you know, here's a life event. We just got married. Congra you know, we got married or our anniversary is coming up. Facebook knows because we post about it. So Facebook knows there's 810,000 men in the United States over age 30, who have an anniversary in the next 31 to 60 days. So we could target them with this product right here, okay? Just like that. So we run, we run a $5 a day, we create this product, we run a $5 a day ad to it to men who have an anniversary coming up, and we sell this. And that's how they were able to sell 13,000 of these things. And then we might run a second ad, so ad number one might be this one. Ad number two, we might narrow it down and say, okay, also, who are interested in coffee, okay? So you might do something like that, okay? There's 200,000 people, so it's a lot less than 800,000, but look at this. Men who have an anniversary in the next 31 to 60 days who are also interested in coffee. I mean, come on now. How targeted can you get? Facebook allows all this kind of stuff, you guys. Anniversary within 30 days. Look at all this. People who have a birthday coming up, people who are born in, in each month. We could, do, we could do a mug that shows if somebody's born in each month, what and, and like what you could do is you can go to these sites, okay? Like go to Teespring or whatever it is, go to these sites and do a search for like, I don't know, July. Do do like a birth month. Go to go do a search for July and look at this. All men are created equal, but only the best are born in July. So you go to a graphic designer and you say, Hey, can you design me a shirt like this? Okay? And then what, what you do is you create an ad where people have a birthday in July. And so now you, you create an ad and you go, men, 30 years and older, who have a birthday in July, okay? And there's 5 million men, 30 years and older, who have a birthday in July. You run an ad to them, right? And then, or you run an ad to their wives, okay? Women, let's narrow this down and let's do, uh, let's do like married, okay? Relationship status, married. So watch this. Women over age 30 who are married, um, who, and let's not even do birthday in July, but we could do women who are 30 years old and married, we can get them to get this for their husbands, okay? So here, here's how you target women who are married over age 30. And you could start to go, you could start to target the women and say, you know, here you go, you know, target this, okay? And so you can target their, you can target the spouses of the, of the husbands, okay? Tons of cool stuff. We're gonna get into detail. We'll show you how to do that kind of advanced targeting. And you just get a designer to design a shirt like this. You put it on a mug. You put it on whatever. Queens are born in July. Okay. Um, you could target women. So let's go back. Queens are born in July. Watch this. Target married women. Let's narrow down, down the audience to July. Um, oh, sorry. Let's marry down the audience to... Um, let, me go, let me go back to what that was. Let me go to anniversary. 
Let's go to demographics, anniversary. So women who have an anniversary. And let's, uh, instead of anniversary, let's do um, narrow down the audience. Let's go. And I'll have to show this in another one, you guys, because I don't want to spend a lot more time here. But where was I? Let's go back to interest, demographics, home demographics, home ownership, life events, anniversary, a birthday. Let's do birth month and let's do July. Birthday in July. Okay. And I think you can actually find that a lot easier by just typing birthday in. Let's see. Birthday. Yeah, there it is. If you want to target birthdays, just type in birthday in July. Okay. So let's target. Look at this. Women who are 30 years or older, who are married, who have a birthday in July. Okay. 2.5 million women are over 30 years old, married, and have a birthday in July. So what you do is you show them this shirt right here. Queens are born in July. And then you tell women, you know, tag your husband, tag your husband if they should get you this shirt. And now what you got is you got all these women who see this, they're like, oh, I would totally wear that. You know, comment below if you would wear this. Tag your husband if they should get you your, this shirt. Get it here. And that's all you do. You, it's like really simple. Like look at all these different types of designs you could do. I'm a July woman. Look at this. They put together like a whole quote. I'm a July woman. I was born with my heart on my sleeve, a fire in my soul, and a mouth I can't control. Thank you for understanding. And look at that. They're, they're, they're targeting women born in July. Okay? So you, you this is print on demand. You come up with an idea. You get a really cool looking design. And then you try to find an audience that matches it. And that's print on demand. You're just, you're experimenting. You're trying to see if you can find some creative audience to match it. Okay? That's what we're doing here with print on demand. Okay? 90 day challenge day two. We're talking about print on demand for beginners, how to integrate it with Shopify. We've got a video. We're talking about what it is, what is print on demand, what are some POD companies. We talk about Teespring, Viral Style, um, Gear Bubble, and then there's also a company called Printful. And then I'll look at that, and then what we'll do is we'll just do questions and answers to wrap up this session. But there's another company here called Printful. Printful.co. Let's go back. Let's go to printful.co. And we print custom designs on posters, t-shirts, sweatshirts, you know, you name it. Products and pricing. Look at all these things you can, you can basically do like wall art, you know? Like maybe if you could have a designer do something like Pitbull art. Let's go to, let's go to like images. Okay, let's take this. So if you could have like a designer, if you could find a designer to design something like this right here, okay, um, see this image of this pit bull? Gratitude pit bull. A dog wags its tail with its heart. And it's got like this beautiful drawing of this pit bull. It's all artistic. This is an example. It's, it's a print, a canvas print. See how they're selling for like forty-one twenty-four? If you could get a designer to design an image like this, you could target men and women who own pit bulls. And, and they're going to be likely to want to, want to have this in their house. It's a good design, right? So that's essentially what you're doing. You're, you're creating, like, look at this. You could, you could type in whatever your niche is in the word art. Here's a canvas print. Um, and look, this is a Shopify store, framed art. This is a Shopify store right here, okay? You know it's a Shopify store because it has all the same stuff. So here's a Shopify store. You could have your own store just like this, okay? So you can start looking. Look at all this art. And if you can go to images and you can just go, instead of Pitbull art, let's do like Chihuahua art. Go to images and look at all these like artistic things that people might have like on their wall. Like here's a really cool artistic one. And there's a canvas, look, $109. And it's like a Chihuahua made out of these, like an outline of a Chihuahua made out of these like artistic like designs. You can go to a designer and say, can you give me a can you give me a Chihuahua think uh, uh, shirt? Sorry, a Chihuahua design like this, and you might be able to find a designer that, that'll charge like twenty five dollars or fifty dollars for this, and then you get this, and you can put it on wall art, mugs, t shirts, hats, clocks, watches, everything. So you you spend like twenty five or fifty dollars to design something, and then you can put it on everything. And look, you can charge a lot for it, and so that's how these things work. You can put it on hats, mugs pillowcases, leggings, tote bags, shirts. You could even put it on socks. You could put it on dresses, skirts, phone cases, you know, and look at how it looks, you know. You can put 
you know, you can just really do a good job. Look at a pillowcase, looks like this, a tote bag, you know, hats, a cell phone case. So you just really get creative, right? You get creative and you learn how to be able to do this. Now, if you want more information on this, you know, there's a little link here, Shopify. Let me put that in the document, uh, viral style. There's a little Shopify link. So you go here and you look and, um, you know, sell t-shirts, sweatshirts, tank tops, canvases, posters, and other print products on Shopify. So what this does is this allows you, um, this allows you to be able to come in here and get a Shopify app. So here it is, Printful. It is a Shopify app. This explains how it works. And this basically, look, no upfront costs, no inventory, no equipment, no fees, no manual orders. All orders are automatically fulfilled. Um, and then you get extra perks, you know. You, you, they'll work with you to help you out. So here's an example. It explains how does Printful work. And they, they, they do everything for you. You decide your profit. You know, we recommend at least making 30% profit. Say you're selling um, a jersey, your price is $23. Printful's price is $13.95, so your profit is $9. So if you sell a t-shirt for $23, you're making around $9. Now, your profit margin on Printful isn't as much as some of these other ones, but it's really easy to use, okay? So look at all these things you can sell. So you just try it out. You know, it's made and printed in the USA, so, so you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, you don't have to worry about dealing with people in China, and you can sell all this, you know. Printful's already used by these brands, so you can kind of go and you can kind of see, like, how other people are using it. You can go and you can see these sites. Here's a, here's a, a Shopify store, t-shirts, and you can see how they're doing it, mugs, posters. So here's an example site selling a bunch of stuff um, with Printful. And, you know, you just look and they, like, look at this, they have mugs, there's a mug, you know, add to cart, just like that, check out, and look, it's a Shopify store, check out Shopify. So see, other people are doing this. All they did was they printed an item, they, they came up with a design, a little cartoon character here from this company, they put it on a mug, and they're selling this mug for $19.95. And they're using Printful, so if somebody, so if somebody orders this product, that company, Printful, will automatically fulfill it. You don't have to worry about anything. All you have to do to be good at print on demand is you have to come up with um, design ideas. Okay, you have to come up with design ideas. That's about it. So let's, let's do some summarized notes down here. Okay, summary of print on demand. Uh, summary from our print on demand training. Okay, so here's kind of like a summary. Let's do some bullet points and then I'll take some questions. So summary. Um, great way for beginners to get started. Most POD companies can integrate with your Shopify store. Um, little to zero overhead required. Um, ability to create products in any niche that you want, mostly dealing with USA vendor, vendors instead of China. Some companies offer automatic fulfillment. Must be good at coming up with design ideas. Must have access to a designer to help you. Can find one on Upwork.com. There's a there's a design there's a site called Upwork, and you can find one. Let's look at that actually for a second before we end this training. Because if you're a beginner, you might need some help with that. Let's go over here to a site. This is where you guys can find some designers if you don't know any. Upwork. There's a site called U P W O R K. Upwork. Okay. So there's a site called Upwork, and you can find, you know, web developers, writers, designers. You can, fill, you can find graphic designers, okay? So you can find all of these different types of people, you know, so let's, so let's look at this site right here. Find freelancers, let's just type in t-shirt design. T-shirt design freelancers. So like, look at all these people. Here's Victor, a t-shirt design and illustrator, okay? He's got 39 items in his portfolio. So if they have a portfolio, you're gonna click this little link here. $97 job success, uh, percent job success. So this person's from Mexico, 
click on the number in their click on their portfolio and you can come in here and you can basically go down and you can learn um, more about them okay you can go and you can basically see all the things they're into I've also built and run so here's all the stuff that they're doing Victor has added 39 portfolio pieces create an account to review them okay I think I got to be logged in let's see if I have a test account that's saved um, let's just see if that works I, otherwise I don't want to uh, uh, if it's not then let me just see really quick if this doesn't work then I'm not gonna bother with it yeah I don't know I don't know if I have an account saved right here uh, for the for the case without me having without me having to log in to um, without me having to, to change my window so you guys can't see it and we're already late in the presentation so if I can't log in oh it looks like this might work okay well there's one you probably have no so I just have an old I have an old post I have 59 so you can see I have 59 old contracts so I've used this a bunch on this account I just forgot about this account so I've obviously used this this a bunch so go in here find freelancers let's do um, t-shirt design and this is how you can find people to design for you t-shirt design here's all kinds of people you know da 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 look at all these kind of people design and illustration you know there's all past hires I've hired 46 people you know you can see like a little bit about them where they're from different places in the world this person's ten dollars an hour this person's twenty but I'm gonna look for somebody who's earned a lot of money See, this person's only earned sixty dollars I'm not gonna work with somebody who's a beginner like that this person's earned over eight thousand dollars right ninety four percent over ten thousand dollars with ninety seven percent job success so someone like this is usually a lot better and you can come in here and you can learn and I'll tell you like what time it is right there it's 348 a.m. in the morning so to kind of you're working with people overseas but that's why they're so inexpensive look everybody's reviewing them five stars that's great and you can come and look at their portfolio so this is the kind of work that they do you know t-shirt design so you kind of just go browse through their portfolio like look at their t-shirt designs um, I survived the Reaper you kind of see like their style of t-shirts and you can kind of see if this fits what you're looking for you know it looks like they've got a really good they got like a really good vintage type look right off the bat um, a different type of designer um, you know you can kind of go through and just try to see what they can do so what you can do is you can contact this person and you can show them what you're trying to do and see if they um, the book covers look they do like crazy book covers so that's an example um, and you go down to the next person this person's earned over thirty thousand dollars they have ninety five percent job success from Ukraine twenty dollars an hour let's go look at this person here and let's go look uh, let's go look at their stuff okay it's 1 19 a.m. so you'd want to contact them at a different time they have 12 jobs currently in progress rated five stars on a lot of stuff here's their portfolio you can start to see like their t-shirt designs you know you can start to see like little things they've done um, you know and this looks pretty good this looks like this kind of person is uh, you know got dozens and dozens and dozens of t-shirts they've designed a lot of t-shirts so you can go through here like I'm a sexy wolf and you know it know it know it a yawn is a silent scream for coffee they, they've got some pretty creative ideas here so you could tell that they probably worked with some people um, so yeah so you know here's some guns niche stuff for women you know straight shooter women so what I would do is I would contact this person here and I would ask them you know how much per t-shirt design and I would say okay I'll, I'll, I'll pay you to design five t-shirts and that's you so Alexander I would hire him I didn't I'd create a t-shirt job that says I'm looking for a t-shirt designer then I'm, I'd invite him to a job it's that simple but I might just save them um, you know uh, I might save them as t-shirt designer and um, update the note you know how to save so there he is Alexander I've saved him as a t-shirt designer so I'll come back to him later so I'll spend some time researching to find somebody and then I'll do it so that's kind of how print on demand works in a nutshell is you're looking must have access to a designer you might have a friend that could do it must must be good at coming up with design must have a good eye for design okay um, you might think it's good but it's not okay I might I've, I can't tell you how many times I've seen people think that a design is good oh my god this is gonna sell and then it doesn't sell at all you must have a good eye for design okay bottom line is if you don't have a good eye for design then it's then it's not gonna work um, it's not gonna be good um, let me uh, let me hold on let me get somebody here uh, just real quick okay um, 
and then I want to summarize this, then I'm going to do Q&A. So the bottom line is this. Bottom line is that you should have some print-on-demand items in your store. Just play around and add some to see how it goes. We will teach more on this topic during the 90 days. For now, do some research by looking at tons of existing examples on sites mentioned, okay? So I showed you a bunch of sites. Look at a bunch of examples. Find some examples by searching your niche or items you know about. Okay. Now it's time for some questions only related to print on demand. Okay, if it's any other question not related to what we talked about today, I'm going to skip it. Questions related for print on demand. Now I'm going to do something different. Okay, don't ask questions in the um, live live stream thread. Okay, don't ask questions there. Instead, create a new post in the group with your question related to print on demand. Okay, the reason I did that is because last time there was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of questions. Okay. Um, if your question is good, then it will be approved and answered by the group, okay? If it's deleted, that's because there were too many questions or the question needed to be asked better. So what's gonna happen is that, let me be very clear, some questions will be approved and answered some won't. If your question isn't approved, it's okay. We can't answer a million questions, okay? Ask your question as a new post in the 90-day challenge group, okay? So what you would do is you're going to go over here to the 90-day challenge group. Let's go to 90-day. Let me cast that. 90-day challenge. Go to this 90-day challenge group. Okay, and write a post right here, and here's how I would do it. I would do like this. I would do POD question, in all caps, I would do POD question, and then, um, you know, blah, 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 ask your question, okay? Be as clear and precise as possible, okay? Be as clear and precise as possible. This, this will help us, because now... We'll be able to look through. See how there's eight posts that need approval? We'll be able to look through. This is probably going to shoot up to like 50 posts or whatever real quick. We're going to be able to go through right now. Uh, the team and I, over the next couple days, the reason I'm having you ask it here is because you, if you ask it right here in the middle of this live stream, if you're asking it right now, we're live. If you ask it right here, it's going to get like, see how this, like JJ, can I use animal photos from Google and print them? What I would do, let's, let's say that this was JJ's question. JJ, here's how I would ask it. I would, I would ask more detail, POD question. I would ask it like this, JJ, POD question. Can I use animal photos from Google and print them? Now here, I would be more, I would be more specific, okay? I would say, can I use animal photos from Google that are not mine and print them? Um, what if they look generic and don't have any obvious copyright issues. Is there, is this safe or should I use a designer and only original graphics? Okay, see a more specific question is going to be a more specific answer. Now, the other thing is don't ask this question to me. Don't say Chris because listen, right now as of the time of this uh, video, there's 3,314 members that are part of the 90 day challenge. But pretty soon, this will be 10,000, and pretty soon, it'll be 100,000. Okay, see, 1,182 new just this week. So, this, ask this question to everybody, okay? POD question, okay? Or you could even do print-on-demand question if you want to be like that, print-on-demand question. 
can I use animal photos from Google that are not mine and print them? What if they look generic and don't have any obvious copyright issues? This safe. The more specific you are, if you have a screenshot that you can share with your question, that helps a lot. If you can link to an example of what you're talking about, that's going to help a lot. The more specific you are, the easier it is. Now, if you ask your question to the community, it's even better because that way another community member can help you because I only have so much time to help you each individually, right? Don't say Chris. Ask everybody in your community because that will be a lot better. Okay, so that's the rules. So what I'm going to do is I'll take a time to answer some um, live right now with you. See, look, I just refreshed and already 14 posts need approval. So what I'll do is while you guys are asking questions, I'll go in and I'll look at some and I'll, ask, I'll answer them. See how much easier this is for me to be able to answer? Okay, and the other thing I'm going to say is if some of you know about print on demand, can you please answer some of these questions when I approve them? Okay, POD question. How can I get paid if I don't use my Shopify store to promote a POD product? Let's approve that. Let's view it and let's answer it. Question. How can I get paid if I don't use my Shopify store? Um, if you don't use your Shopify store, then you can promote the product directly on the POD site. The money will go to that POD company and they will pay you within one to two weeks on average. Okay, That's how I started and I generated over one million in sales before ever building my own brand and my own store. The long-term uh, strategy is better to build, uh, to sell directly on your Shopify store, okay? There's your answer, okay? And if anybody else wants to uh, answer that, feel free. Okay, let's go to the next question. See how, see how, see how simple this is? Feel free to ask your questions. Okay, let's go down, let's look at some, let's go, okay, do you know of any uh, POD companies, let me go to this one, do you know of any POD companies that are good with profit ratio in the U UK? I'm not sure offhand of any great print on demand companies in the U UK. Do any other members have any suggestions? So there you go. That's my best answer I can give to you. So we're going to go through and I'm going to spend a few handful of minutes answering some questions for each one of you. So let's go. Um, where can we get the document from Chris's awesome training yesterday? The 90 day challenge notes will be posted in a document in the files section of this group directly following today's live stream. It will be up in the next hour. Okay. Now, here's what's going to happen. Look at this document right here. So today was 90 day challenge day two. Every single day, we're going to be able to uh, add notes. I'm going to have somebody in our, in our company add notes from each challenge and put them on here. So look, this has 90 day challenge day one, and then it has all these notes from day one. Then it has 90 day challenge day two, and then it'll have 90 day challenge day three, and then see the day two replay. So up on the top, look at this day one replay. See, it, it'll, have, it'll have the replay. So you'll be able to easily find um, each day and the notes. This, this document, 90 day challenge notes, will be posted in the file section, okay? So that's where you're going to be able to find that. Okay, pretty cool. All right, um, let's keep going. Okay, 14 posts. First of all, let's approve this person. Really quick, they want to join the group. Let me approve them, number three groups. Let me approve them really quick so they have a chance to be able to see this. Let's go to this discussion. 13 posts need approval. Okay, POD question. Gear bubble versus Teespring versus viral style. Okay, which one is better? Teespring is the largest. Okay, hold on, let me... Oh, somebody... Look at this. Do you know of a POD companies with a good profit ratio in the UK? Look, people are already... People are already jumping in and sharing. That's the power of the community. See, I didn't know offhand, but lots of other people are already helping. That's awesome. Teespring is the largest, but they, um, 
are limited when it comes to integrating with Shopify and they don't give you much customer data. Gearbubble uh, is best for mugs and necklaces. Uh, sorry, viral style is great for t-shirts. I'd say to use whichever one you want. Soon, I will invite out um, owners and top sellers on each platform to train you guys during the 90-day challenge. Okay, so don't worry. Remember, this is only day two. We're already going in. You guys are going to get an extreme boot camp. Everybody's going to come out and is going to start killing it. Um, and then I might go like this. Community. Which one is your preferred choice and why? Okay. Um, exactly. Like John's already throwing in T-chip. There's actually like 20 uh, print on demands one. I just couldn't show all of them. Okay. 11 post need approval. Let's go through and answer a few more questions. Go down and let's see. Let's see. Um, let's go. This person's looking for advice from an intrapreneur. Instead of asking an intrapreneur, ask the entire community. Be as specific as you can with your questions so that the community can help you out the most, okay? So if anybody has advice for niches, this, don't ask, and my point is, I'm, I'm doing this live so everybody sees, don't ask entrepreneurs directly, don't ask me directly. You should be very specific. What exactly is your question about niches? What, you know, you guys can get help. You guys have this group. Thousands and thousands of members will help you if you guys just get good at asking your question. See, part, a lot of you guys want help. You have to get better at asking questions. This, this, and I'm not trying to call you out on the spot. I'm just saying if this question was specific, hey, um, here's the niche that I'm thinking about using. Is this niche a good one? And get feedback from people, okay? So let's look at some of these. Um, da, 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 da. POD, I'll let somebody else answer that one. POD question, I've come across several that have free apps set up with Shopify. Guten seems to have very good variety. I don't know the quality is anybody use. Okay, we'll let anybody use this one. So on the question right here, it'd be like, has anyone, does anyone have experience with, does anyone have experience with Guten? I've never heard of them. Okay. Let's see what else you got in here. Five posts need approval. Looks like probably somebody else is approving things along with me. Awesome. Weekend at Huntington Beach. That's awesome. Okay, somebody's, somebody's been, I've been creating ads just fine, but as of today, this is the message I get when I go to place my order. Has anyone ever encountered this problem? Can offer advice? I don't even want to track offline events anyways. Um, hi team, I'm stuck. Okay, so let's help this person really quick. I'll just give them basic advice right now. Just ignore this message, okay? That's basic advice, that's not gonna mess you up. So hopefully it answers Kelly's question. All right, guys, ask some more questions. If anybody has questions about POD, how do we search questions or anything asked in this group, okay? See this search button right here, Derek? See the search button? There you go. It's right here, okay? So let's go and answer that. It's a search button on the top of this group. It's easier to find on the desktop uh, version. Okay, if anybody wants to jump in and help Kelly, she's asking a question on top of what I just asked. Okay? Dun, dun, dun. POD question. How do, uh, Kelly, you might want to go look at your settings and make sure you're not checking something to advertise somewhere, but I'd have to go look at it. How to get EI in for overseas. I don't want to get into this right now. We'll let somebody else answer that question, Arun, because there's a way to be able to do that. Um, okay, is that it for questions? I don't, I don't, I don't see any more POD questions, so we'll just let somebody else answer that one. 
Is there any other POD questions? I don't see any POD. Any POD? Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and call this thing a wrap. So let me know in the comments right now. Was today's live stream three? Was today's live stream um, valuable? Was today's live stream? Did you guys enjoy this? Was today's print on demand live stream valuable? Here we are. Let me know in the comments of the live stream. Okay. Let me know. Look at all these people answering. So Bobby says it was awesome. You guys, let me know in this live stream right here. Let me know right here. Was this was this valuable? Did you guys enjoy this? Do you guys want more training like this? Was there something you'd want me to change? Is there something you liked? Let me know. Give me your feedback because what we do is we go back and re review this, okay? So people are saying it was awesome, great info. We go back. If there's, if there's something I could have done to be more specific, if there's something I could have been done to be more basic, if there's something I could have done, go through it. I wanted to give you guys on day one, I wanted to give you a high-level overview of how to find products on AliExpress. On day two, I wanted to give you a high-level overview of, of print on demand so that this week now, Monday through Friday, we can go through Shopify setup and now you'll have like a base understanding of, you know, how people can move at a faster pace now. Okay? So, um, you guys ready to crush it out? If you guys are ready to crush out the 90-day challenge, stay tuned. This week we're launching a leaderboard and um, there's that. Okay, so directly after this, I'm going to start posting the notes. So you guys will see the notes. Um, the notes will be here in the files section. You'll be able to find the files. So um, you guys, look, I'm telling you right now, other people in this industry charge hundreds of dollars for uh, training webinars like this. You just received this one free as part of the 90 day challenge. This is day two out of 90 days. Every day for 90 days at 5 p.m. Eastern time, you will get daily training. Um, sometimes the training will be short, like 10 or 15 minutes. Sometimes it'll be an hour or two hours. It'll be different every single day. It'll be different topics. Um, and there will be different presenters. I'll find different trainers. So at the end of the day, you guys, we are going to do our best. Our mission here is to get every single one of you successful with your own Shopify store. Okay? We are going to incentivize you when you generate your first $100, first $1,000, and first $10,000. We are going to do everything that we can. So Robert wants more help adding products to Shopify store. Robert, Monday through Friday this week is Shopify setup. I wanted to get um, the high-level stuff out of the way. Um, and, and Robert, if you're looking for more help, go to, e uh, you know, for more training, I'll put it right here, for more training, visit ecomtutor.com, okay? Ecomtutor.com has um, training on Shopify setup and stuff like that. So Robert, if you're looking, for anybody here looking for more training, you can go right there and I've got, you know, another couple hours of training there, okay? Rowdy says, I need products to sell. We covered that. In, in, in days one and two. So go back and watch yesterday's live stream and today's live stream. We covered products to sell. Um, so uh, Greg, you have a POD question? Ask this as its own post. Greg, don't ask it here. Ask this as its own post because it'll get lost in here. Okay, it'll get lost in here. Uh, Michael, it's in my nature to pay it forward by promoting techonomics. Awesome, Michael. We love it. Thank you. Um, Robert says the training was incredible. Thank you. You guys appreciate that. So listen, ask your questions in new posts. Be as clear as possible, okay? Um, our our um, admins will approve the post. They will answer it if they can. If they cannot, then we are going to rely on another community member to answer it. Some posts will not be approved. If, if the post is not good, if the question's like needs to be more clear, if your question is not approved, maybe you need to ask it in a different way. We can't approve hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of questions. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. There are thousands of members here, but you guys will look back a month from now, there will be tens of thousands. We're in this thing together. This is a journey. We're going to kill it, okay? Simone, you should be asking this as its own question with more details, okay? Um, so this is not enough information. So a question like this will probably not get approved. You need to get more. Will you show us step-by-step -step how to set up the store? Um, ask Street. Listen, this is a 90 days of training. We're only on day two, so don't worry. There will be plenty of training. Plus, you should go to, um, as street, you should go to ecomtutor.com and, and there's step-by-step -step training there. Okay, let's go look at it right now. Ecomtutor.com. Look, this training is available for you right now for those of you that want to get a head start, okay? Look at this. Um, first things first. Here's a PDF, okay? Click this PDF and look at this document that is available to you right now. Follow these instructions. Look, look at all this stuff. Look, look at all this training, a free PDF beginner's guide 
to making money online. Look at all this shopping. Finding products, look at all this stuff. Visual example to how to set up shipping. Um, look at all this, there's so much stuff. Look at all of this information, okay? That's on the first link right here. Then you go down, click here to download the PDF notes, okay? Click this link, look at all these notes that are here. I mean, look at all this stuff. Techademics bonus webinar notes, okay? Look at all of these notes that are here, you guys. Look at all this. Look at all these notes, okay? Tons and tons and tons of notes here, okay? Yeah, that's all available. This is all free. Introduction, how the staff accounts work, picking the right plans, who to contact, general stores versus niche stores, finding the perfect name for your store, free versus paid Shopify themes, designing your Shopify store graphics, drop shipping products to sell on your store, how to research and learn from other sellers, setting up your Facebook fan pages, finding the perfect Facebook audience for your ads, what to do if your merchant account holds back your funds, um, placing your first Facebook ads, getting more with intersecting audiences, will Chinese New Year affect your sales, all this kind of stuff. Okay, so the bottom line is look at all of this. All of these replays are available. You guys can take advantage of all of this, okay? It's all there, very, very simple. So that's what you should be doing. We will get better at this. Remember, this is only day two of 90 days. So if you guys are excited, um, that's going to be it. So Stephanie says it would be nice if we had a list of topics for each day beforehand. You know, Stephanie, we're not going to schedule the 90 days. Um, and, and Stephanie, we want, here's the thing. If we gave you the topics, then you would skip some of the trainings. We don't want you to skip any training. So Stephanie, we're not going to tell the, tr the topics in advance. We want people to come and we want them to learn because here's the thing, you might think that you, um, you might think that you know uh, something and so you'll skip the training, but we don't want you to skip the training. We want you guys to be very, very successful. Every single day we'll have something valuable for you. So don't miss any of the training. Okay, we're gonna put the files up here in the file section. You'll be able to watch the replays there. So with that being said, who, let me ask you this. Who is 100% committed to generating at least $1,000 with their Shopify store in the, in, during this 90-day challenge? Say, just say, I am committed in all caps. Go like this. I, you can say it any way you want. I am 100% I am 100 committed, okay? Write something like that. I am 100% committed. You guys, if you're committed, let me know who's 100% committed that you're going to generate at least $1,000 with your Shopify store within the 90 days here, okay? Let me know if you're committed. Let me know if you're in. Let me know what your goals are. We're reading these and we want, we want also when you make a commitment like this to everybody, then you are, um, when you make a, a declaration of your goals to the public, you're more likely to achieve them. So put yourself on the spot. Tell us if you're 100% committed. Even if you're watching the replay, find, comment, even if you're watching the replay, let us know uh, exactly how committed you are and let's make this happen. You guys, this was day two of 90. It's been my pleasure. I look forward to seeing you on future webinars. Sometimes they will be me. Sometimes they will be a member of the Techademics community. And with that being said, I'm, I'm ready to wrap up. It was my pleasure. I will see you guys um, on the next 90 day challenge live cast and we're looking forward to day three and we will see you there. Peace out everyone.